everyone, welcome to PC Perspective. I'm Ryan Shrout, this is Alan Malventano. We have another SSD video for you today. And this one, uh, I think, will probably be the first time most people have heard of this. It was for me when we got this one in. Right. So this is uh, an SSD from a company called Angelbird. And uh, the model number is WRK. We're gonna pronounce it- Work. Work, because that seems appropriate. Not 100% sure if that's right. Um, but I think SSD WRK sounds yeah, we'll go with SSD work. So we've got a 512 gig SATA 6, 6 gigabit per second SSD in our hands. Right. Give us a little bit of info about it. What controllers it using? What kind of specifications are we looking at? All right. So this is actually the first SSD we're reviewing that uses Silicon Motion 2246. Okay. All right. Interesting. All right. So that's not the brand new Silicon Motion controller that was just announced at a Flash Memory Summit. Right. Like just like a week ago. Sure. Um, it's the model that they had been shipping for quite some time now. Okay. Um, and it is driving uh, Micron 20 nanometer flash that uh, Angelbird claims they package themselves. And from looking mm. on the inside, it looks like they do. Um, it's mm. weird seeing it, seeing it without the little M on it. It's just right. like a generic little bland looking package with the part number on it. Um, I imagine they're doing that just because they're probably purchasing wafers and cutting dyes themselves. And That's pretty intense. Well, sometimes OCC used to do that. Did uh, they? Just okay. Try to cut cost, right? Okay. So maybe they're trying to cut cost and just be more efficient internally. Um, so the 512 gig model is supposed to start shipping at uh, 300 bucks, which puts it at a, just under 60 cents a gig, okay. which isn't bad. No. Right. Although we're seeing stuff like 50 cents a gig. Yeah, we're we're um, seeing more aggressive prices like uh, in the OCZ Arc 100 that launched last week, or right. uh, like the Crucial M550, for example. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. And I. Uh, so as far as performance goes, like I'm, I'm kind of, I had to stop myself there talking about like the cost per gig because usually I'd say, well, it's, it, but it performs really good. And then, well, now I'm comparing it to really good performance from like the M550 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and like the MX100, sure. which are already very low cost per gig. Right. Right. So those, those are kind of double hitting there, right? They're, right. they're like really so good where, cost per gig. where does the performance of this drive set? Now we have the five, we benchmarked the 512 gig model which is probably the highest performance of this. It is. So unlike line. unlike the Marvell uh, SSDs that are tending to use the 64 gigabit dies and more die mm -hmm. more higher die count to keep the performance higher as you step down in the capacity, this is using 20 nanometer micron flash, which is 128 gigabit die. Okay. So it does not get that benefit, which means that it already starts to taper off in performance just at the 256 gig model, it's actually starting to fall off already. Okay, so moving from 512, which is what we have in our review and the performance metrics we have in the article, right? <clears throat> going down to 256 gig, your you're gonna right, see lower- Your write speeds fall off. The write speeds fall off, but the at, read speeds should be the same? Uh, read, overall read is pretty good. Okay. Uh, and then 128 gig, the read speeds are still good, but the IOPS starts to take a hit because now your dies are even further reduced. Right. And your write speed goes all the way down to 150 meg per second. Okay. Okay, right. so so what they didn't do was switch from 128 gigabit die to 64, 64 gigabit, gigabit die dies, yeah. at the lower capacities and try to maintain performance levels. They instead maintained capacity or I guess die sizes. Probably it probably makes it yeah. more simple for them throughout. You know the well, the line. I mean, it's only recently that you've seen the other manufacturers shifting to the 64 gigabit die, right? Okay. So and um, Micron is not doing that yet. They don't have like a Micron 64 gigabit. Okay, they don't have the product available if they wanted to right. do that. Yeah, okay. that's the that's yeah. the same old 20 nanometer flash, 128 gigabit die. That's you know IMFT flash, right. Intel Micron joint flash. That's all over the place. Yeah, right. Um, so the pricing, like that, like we said, that model uh, around 60 cents a gig, and then it kind of gets higher and higher as you go lower in capacity. Um, so 63 cents a gig for the 256, 78 cents a gig at 100 bucks for the 128 gig. Mm. Um, so it seemed to me like if you wanted to get this drive, the 512 is really the one you would want to get. It is both because better, of performance better performance and, and price cost. per gig. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's always interesting seeing other companies come in and compete in a market that, you know, you have giants like Intel and Samsung and Toshiba really kind of already in there as well, right? Yeah. You gotta remember that OCZ was, was a small company, but they were kind of pioneering SSDs at the beginning. Yeah, they got in um, at the beginning. Now there's yeah. a lot of really big companies yeah. already doing it. Now, the, although this is not uh, Angelbird's first SSD, right? They've no, made, it is not. The, they, we haven't reviewed any prior ones ourselves, but there's a bunch of prior product lines, uh, mostly tailored to Mac, 
Um, and they have some enterprise. They have ones marketing. like kind of marketed and targeted yeah. towards AV guys. Right, but the vast majority of them are focused around Sandforce. Yeah, the 2281. Yeah, yeah, um, which we've seen, you know, dozens of times already. Right. So really, not much purpose in sure. in testing those specifically. It, 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 it's an interesting product, right? It's you know, it's it's designed and manufactured in Austria, right? This company right. is based out of Austria, so we don't really yeah. know how they're how they're going to be how they're handled really in the U.S. in terms of right. warranties and returns, and they do have a U.S. distributor in California. Mm -hmm. uh, the design of it, I think, yeah, is really nice. Yeah, the housing is nothing like I've ever seen, right? It's more like, uh, remember how those old uh, iPod Nanos were put together where the aluminum housing was one extruded yeah. hollow shell, yeah. and then all the guts kind of slid in from the edge? Right. That's exactly what this one does. So there's two screws on the back, and you would actually push the yeah. insides yeah, we had through. Yeah, we had to okay. slide the guts out of the end. It is cool looking. I even kind of like the brushed finish on it and the and we were talking earlier about like the font looks modern yeah. and cool. Now I don't know how important that is to people when they're buying an SSD that they're going to put into a case or even into a laptop. Yep. But that that's a that's at least something. So um yeah. Interesting. It's an interesting product, right? So this is Angelbird. It's uh, supposed to be available this week, I guess, as we go live with the as review. As we see this video, it's supposed to be available. Um they are shipping to US. It looks like they're just starting to introduce products into this US. market yeah into yeah. the u.s market um they have pretty decent influence from the looks at it on you know you sites in the uk and basically just sites overseas okay yeah so I'll, I'll be curious to see then if it shows up on newegg or amazon kind of where those prices sit in relation to the information that we got we right. got beforehand right so uh go sure uh, make sure you go to pcper.com alan's full review is up there if this video is live, the review is live as well. You can see all the benchmarks. You can see the pictures of uh, the insides and how he had to slide it apart to get to that as well. And so uh, if you're interested in it, you can, their URL, for since it's a new company, we'll, we'll throw that out there. It's angelbird.com. So it's a very interesting product. I don't think we're 100% sold on it because of how performance scales down on lower capacities. Yeah. Right? And how cost per gig goes up with those lower capacities, but if you were interested in the 512 gig model, that seems like a, at least a reasonable selection at yep. this point. That's what I would go for. Yeah. Right. Thanks, guys.